friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit like and subscribe. I'd love to have you here. So today I want to go over three quick things. I want to do page sizing. I want to show you page sizing in Google Slides. I want to remove a background and I want to show you how to crop images uh, into a specific shape for your Bitmoji scene, your Bitmoji classroom. So I'm going to be creating one that's going to be monochromatic with a color pop. If you need help on these steps on how to build the basics of the classroom, setting your background and adding elements, go ahead and check out the previous video. I'll link it and I'll go step by step really slow. But right now, let's jump in. So the first thing I want to show you before I get into my Bitmoji scene, I want to make sure you're aware of how to resize your image. Over here, you go to File and you scroll all the way down, Page Setup. Here, you could change it custom to whatever size you want. Often in the classroom, if I want to be printing something, I will set it up as an eight and a half by 11. And you see, it's a regular size sheet of paper. For this video, because I am going to be posting it as a video, I need my um, size to be 1920 by 1080 pixels. That's the standard size for YouTube videos. So here we have it. That's resizing your page. So to create my color um, pop, my monochromatic scene, Let's add my monochromatic elements. First, I'm gonna start by changing my background. Let's find one that's monochromatic. When you change the backgrounds, you cannot change the colors on these like I've shown you in the previous videos. However, if you don't change it as a background, if you just insert it as an image, you can change the color and recolor this. But when it's a background, you cannot. So I wanted to choose the one that's most monochromatic. So here we go. So here I have my first image. I want this to be the picture on my wall and I want it in a heart shape frame. And this is gonna be my only pop of color. Everything else I wanna go in the grayscale. So I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna show you how to crop this into a heart. So we go to, go to crop image. This down arrow will give you all these shapes and I go to the heart and I crop my image as a heart. Now, because I'm gonna be hanging this on my wall and I wanted my pop of color and I want a frame, go up here, the border, we're gonna make it bigger, blue instead of the black frame and hang my picture on the wall. Here we have this beautiful brown couch, does not go with our color scheme here that we are looking for. So let's fix that. Those of you that watched my last video, you know you just right click and you go to format options and then over here to recolor. That looks good. Oh, we have a border around here. I don't want that border on this one. So we want to click transparent and that'll take away the border around the couch. So let's add our Bitmoji. I'm going to put a Bitmoji here peeking from the back side because I've seen that one and it looks really cute. And you know I can have it peeking from the other side. Right click it, copy image, click on your picture here, control V will paste your image, resize it, bring it down. I think the size is okay. Peeking out from behind the couch. Okay, so now we're gonna put my little grand puppy on my couch. I got a picture of him. He's on his couch. I want to go to remove.bg, upload image. And you can see here, before I upload the image, let's just take a peek real quick. I had this Bitmoji. I was going to remove the background from the Bitmoji. But if you look here and you see the checkerboard pattern in her pants, that's going to show through. So whatever background you have, she won't have any legs. So we don't want to do that. The best way to get rid of this would be just to crop it out. And you can crop out all those parts. That would be the easiest way to get rid of that. So let's upload my image of my grand puppy. 
and I've done nothing else, and this is what I get. Everything, all the couch, the blankets in the background is gone. If there are any traces, like right here at first, I thought that was something part of the couch, but that's actually his hind leg if you look here in the picture. If I thought, if it was something else, I can continue to edit. I can do some minor edits. Click edit and it'll give you the eraser and you can resize your eraser and then just left click and hold it down and you can shave that all down. If I wanted to get rid of that little piece sticking up, I could do that too. Don't know if I want to do it. I might mess it up. Oh, there we go. His little hair was sticking up just a little bit. I don't know if you saw that. If I go like that, trimmed off too much, I can click on restore. And actually the image was perfect. It'll restore any part of the image. I don't want any of that. It was perfect the first time through. So I'm just going to undo, put it back the way it was, download my image, and I want to save my image. So here we go, go back to our scene. This time I'm gonna upload for my computer. I'm not gonna go there. Remember the cropped one I put in the music folder. And here he is. And I can crop him down and put him right here on my couch. Looks really big. Let's make him, he's tiny. Let's put him right, and there you have it. My monochromatic scene. The only thing that's in color is my beautiful ocean. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget, step out and be uniquely wonderful.